Welcome to this video. We are going to talk about the actual difference between Arch Linux and Arco Linux. A question that pops up from time to time. So the real difference between them is that if you install Arch Linux, you go to the wiki and you start to find your way in the installation guide and you say, I'm going to follow all these steps and I'm going to try to install Arch Linux. Now for my students of 18 years old, this is somewhat challenging. Just having used Windows and not knowing anything about computers. So I imagine it can be challenging for lots of people. So we made an articlelinuxd.com, a phase five. And we have here a start here and you can follow along every step we've done. In the end, you will have a archway installation in BIOS system, old computers, old or an UFI installation, which are mostly the newer laptops or desktops. So this thing that you see here, this long list you see here, is actually this one, installing and following the guide of Arch Linux. So what is then this Arco Linux? This difference between Arch Linux and Arco Linux is that we skip this wiki. We skip all this stuff. You don't need to, in, to know all this stuff. What we do is use a graphical installer and this graphical install installer will put there two elements. You can choose between a ISO that has everything, theming, icons, wallpapers, display managers, everything, everything, really everything. Or you can go for an Arc Linux D and the D stands for develop, document, but also choose your own desktop. So here there is no desktop. You choose whether you want XFCE, i3, Cinnamon Mate, Gnome, Awesome, BSB, WM, and so many more. So that's the fun. You can have different phases, learn phases. It's a learning curve. Start with this, go on with that, have another try and build your own ISO. Another project we have in the end say, okay, I'm ready to have a Arch Linux installation. Then you move to archlinuxd.com and say, I'm gonna follow phase five and then you have an Arch Linux installation. Now it is also the difference, and it's explained on in this image here, actually, that we have a different installer, a different way to install stuff. Now, we want, of course, to have an ISO that's, that's gonna work on a lot of hardware, not every hardware, but a lot of hardware. We cannot put every hardware specification on the ISO, since they are, then they get, we get conflicts, we can't, do that, just say, here's a bunch of hardware and done. So we have a list, a variety, a big list of hardware, and that's something Arch Linux will not do. If you follow this guide, it's gonna be a driver for your system, just your system and not everybody else's system. So that's the difference also between Arch Linux and Arch Linux. Arch Linux is really tuned to your system and Arch Linux is tuned to lots of systems. The difference between Arch Linux and Arco Linux, or maybe not the difference really. Um, the thing is, what I want to say is that we have this AOR thing, and it's still up to us to um, decide whether we want it or not. So if you are an Arch user, the Arch way, I mean then, then you decide whether you want Vivaldi, Dropbox, and so on. So many others that are all in the AOR. The same thing we decided, say, okay, from the AUR we'll take this and this and that package and we'll put it on the ISO of Arco Linux. The other difference is that this last thing, of course, is not on Arch Linux. This is our repo in Arch Linux GitHub. You'll find our work, our configuration, our settings, our themes, and so on and so on. You can see for yourself. So all this information can be installed on Arco Linux D, but also on Arco Linux and also on Arch Linux. And then of course everything becomes a mixture. Since Arco Linux is based on Arch, we can install of course our packages from Arch Linux, oh, sorry, from Arco Linux, so this, is, this icon here, and we can put it on an Arch Linux system. So 
maybe that's confusing, but Arch Linux has the same base. I mean, it, it's Arch with AWAR and with our packages. So if we follow our phase five here and we start from scratch, really from scratch, starting the, following the wiki here, we can always say at the end, let's get our scripts, let's get our themes, let's, go, let's get our wallpapers. And that's eventually what we do in the end and say, okay, let's install XFCE, great example here. This is how XFCE looks when you installed an Arch Linux. I don't know if you like the design, I do not like the design. So in the end, we end up with something like this. And that's design-wise, in my eyes, nicer than the other one at the top. And that's all we do. Let's find out a balance between Arch, Linux, AUR, and our own packages and see that the end result is something we like. And that's what Arch Linux does. Um, I think I've covered it all. And if there are questions, just put them under the video. All right. Cheers.